I'm here to share some more of my pencils. Um, this is, I'm not sharing the beautiful Spira Farben pencils because I did an unboxing of those a little while ago. And so I really love those, but they're not in the stash, in this stash video. These are my tins and my, I only have a couple of pencil bags to show you. And you see the wooden, um, desk i have here i'm very excited i've just ordered a desk cover with beautiful image of table mountain which is our kind of so well known mountain in south africa so among the pencils is this great big tin of creta color see mega colored pencils and they are big fat ones and I really enjoy these. So these are big fat ones and I must color with them again. They color a larger area and they don't hurt your arthritic fingers quite so much. So that is them. I've kept them in the tin. Next in the tins is Blick Studio Pencils bought from Blix. They, this tin's a little bit banged up, but the pencils are fine. I've used these a few times. They're very nice pencils, actually. They're two um, trays full. So they've got a nice pencil-y sort of waxy smell. Then another tin full is sergeant art which are lovely and very I'm going to open them now very close in looks to the spear of Farben. so if you'd be interested in maybe possibly me doing a comparison between the two um that might that's something that interests you please let me know and i'll happily do such a video for you i would love to to actually see how they compare with each other and then another tin which i'm shining a bit is this amazon basics premium colored pencils this is the only one of the amazon basics products that i've got in the art supply things um sorry they stuck a bit at the back there i need to sort that out the pencil is stuck on here Oopsie. I put this ribbon there because these trays were so difficult to get out. Oops, there we are. So fun to color with. And then Pièce de Résistance is my Faber Castell Polychromos, which are so beautiful i love it when you can roll the pencils <laughs> of course you all know what these look like i've got um some doubles so i that's why some of them look as if they've never been used i suppose there are a few colors that i haven't really used much but i do use these quite often i usually use the ones that are out in my in another just an ice cream container that I've got them in. Then I have the original, the first set of Arteza that came out. This is the 72 set. I don't have the 120 set. And my dear friend Mary Malloy in a colouring group with me does some of the most gorgeous colouring with her Arteza pencil. I bought these because I used to follow a YouTuber that used them a lot and I so enjoyed colouring with her and then she stopped her channel so that was sad but anyway then I have these Guang, Guang Hai or Guang Gui I don't know how to pronounce them pencils I'm not going to take them all out um, these are inexpensive Chinese pencils they color quite nicely. They sharpen extremely badly. They um, break 
left, right, and center. Then I have this messy Derwent carrier bag that I've got far too full. So it's really hard and the little leaves that go in keep falling out. Um, but in here are my priceless beautiful 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 current dash luminance pencils i bought all of these as open stock little by little as i could afford and then some um pablos as well i don't have all the full set but i've bought them you can see what happens here it keeps popping open because it's too full and i can't get it closed oh gosh come on now it's anyway so they're the pablos and then my neo colors are in here as well and that's also bought open stock and some super color water base watercolor pencils that i had a smallish set that i bought second hand off off another coloring friend and then a set that I enjoy in a pencil case I love. <laughs> I really like this pencil case because it's got the one zipper and you open it and in here are all the Derwent Color Softs and the Ink Tents which I love and some of my ink tents I got a 12 set handed down to me by my daughter-in-law that she bought long before coloring was popular and it's interesting to note that it's a kind of a hexagonal pencil um, I don't know if you can see that compared with how they look today as a round pencil I don't know if you can see the difference of the older one and the new one they they work the same they look the same the the result is the same so that's in that nice pencil case and then my last pencil case which is a beautiful case but i don't like the fact that you've got to open all of these zips it's a bit of a drag Sorry, laziness is definition of um, are all my Lyra Rembrandt these are Lyra Rembrandt polycolor pencils they're very nice pencils they're oil based it's quite a thin barrel that's the only thing I have against it but the color lays down well and I've got um, some doubles because I first had a very small set and then I bought a bigger set so there are some doubles and then these are also by Lyra and they're called Super Furbies and they're big fat pencils. <laughs> so that concludes my colour pencil stash. Let me leave this open for you to enjoy some of the lovely goodness of the pencils and I hope you've enjoyed watching that with me. I will share links to what I can find on Amazon of these. And I hope that you will join me for my next video. And I really wish you a wonderful, happy and colourful week. Bye-bye now.